Secret Service agent Tim McCarthy faced a decision the morning of March 30th, 1981. File paperwork in the office or protect President Ronald Reagan on a local trip to give a speech. To the shift leader rather than uh, point into one or the other since we had both been briefed, you know, is probably more cliche. She said, you know, flip a coin because uh, one, one of the two of you has to fill that position. McCarthy lost the toss. On site later that day, he recalls scanning the crowd as Mr. Reagan emerged from the hotel after his speech. I had looked at the president, looked back, then all of a sudden, uh, John Hinckley, who was on the left side of the rope line, uh, pushed himself forward. Hinckley took aim at the president and fired a revolver. I really never put the gun with the person because it happened so quickly. I could tell from the sound uh, and the smoke that I saw where the, the rounds were coming from. More shots rang out, including one that ricocheted off the door of President Reagan's limousine. As this car sped away and became free of the chaos, it became apparent that President Reagan had been struck by that bullet that ricocheted. Once the gunfire ended and officers had wrestled Hinckley to the ground, three people around President Reagan were also injured, including Press Secretary James Brady and Agent McCarthy. And the bullet went through the lung, liver, and diaphragm, and the common picture shows me grabbing my abdomen, but that's down where the liver was, where it went through the liver. So that was where the uh, pain was at that time, but actually I was shot in the chest. Press Secretary Brady suffered serious injuries, but survived, as did Washington police officer Thomas Delahanty. President Reagan also recovered from his wounds, but McCarthy says the incident was a wake-up call for the Secret Service. After that, uh, metal detectors were used to screen anyone who gets near the president uh, shortly thereafter. And the legacy is that since that time, there has not been another attack on, the pres on any of our presidents by the historic assassin, which is the lone gunman. John Hinckley Jr. was found not guilty by reason of insanity. He remains confined to a mental health facility. The limousine that carried Mr. Reagan to the hospital is now on display at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. The damage caused by Hinckley's bullet was repaired shortly after the shooting. Though the incident occurred over 30 years ago, the attack created a lasting bond between the president and his protector. Believe me when I say that the president and Mrs. Reagan were more than grateful, more than thankful and gracious to me and my family from that day on. After serving two more presidents, McCarthy retired from the Secret Service in 1993. He now serves as the chief of the Orland Park Police Department in suburban Chicago. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Orland Park, Illinois.